Alright guys, so I'm back again. So right now I'm done by the assessment center. So what I'm trying to focus on is basically the uh, the bleep test. And so I've received loads of emails um, regarding the bleep test, loads of people concerned about it. So I'm here with one of the PTIs here at the assessment center. So he's gonna explain more in detail what's it like and then hopefully this can relieve the ease and tension and the anxiety as well. So I'll put you on to Colin and he can explain more in detail. I'm Colin, I'm one of the PTRs here at the Assessment Centre in Purbright and my job is to make sure that when the candidates arrive here they feel comfortable in achieving their goals in the RFTs which is, involves the upper, upper body stuff which is the mid-thigh pull and the medicine ball throw and also the bleep test and the bleep test being the most um, d demanding one out of the three which is what everyone worries about. We make them feel comfortable so they know what levels they have to go to what pace they have to go to they don't have to go out too hard at the very beginning and they can achieve whatever uh, job role they've chosen to in the British Army so what's the basic level then the basic level is 7.2 uh, if they're going into certain job roles into cores but then when they get to the infantry then it goes a little bit higher it goes to 8.7 and if they're going into the powers it's 11.6 but they're 11.6 which is pretty pretty nifty all right so i think i might give you a go then yeah what like this like this yeah Are you so sure I still have my kit on, yeah. Basically, I'm still, I'm still in work now. I can't be asked to change. So, just to relieve the anxiety and all that, I'm in boots at the moment. Yes, yeah, so I'm keeping my, my boots on, take my top off, bury off, and I'm just gonna go and go for it. And is that all right? Yeah, of course we can. Let's, yeah? let's go for it, mate. Okay, let's go let's for let's it. Go. So, guys, hopefully, this can relieve the anxiety, is what I said. I'm gonna do it in my boots. So, I'm gonna go infantry level. Infantry right, level? Right, so infantry level. Infantry. Infantry as uh, well. 8.7. 8.7, guys, yeah. So, stay tuned. Okay, so this pace is nice and steady and you shouldn't be going so hard that uh, you get there and wait several seconds. You should be getting there just as the beep hits, hits that line. As soon as, you, as soon as you get there, you should just literally turn around. Ah, nice and steady. Otherwise, if you get there too quick, you'll end up at later stages blowing up. You'll run out of steam very quickly. So the whole point now is just to run nice and steady and get there just as the beep hits. The, just as you hit the line, you should he hear the beep. Good, look at that, nice and steady, nice and relaxed. Start of level two. In level two, there isn't much increase in speed at, on level two. It's pretty much the same as level one. So you shouldn't really notice any difference at all in terms of speed. And the whole point is you stay nice and relaxed, getting the arms swinging across the chest, nice and steady. Look at that, nice and easy. Now on each level, there is an increase in shuttles. So the first, the first shuttle, there's probably about seven, I think it is. And then after that, on level two, level three, level four, it increases by about one shuttle and the pace also gets faster. Level three. Now level three, there is a slight increase here, not too much, not enough to make you think, oh, this is actually really fast. So this is still pretty slow. So the first few levels are really just warming you up. The speed doesn't increase really till about level six, then it starts to get a bit faster.
That's it, nice and steady. Now what does happen, when you get to about level five, then, then that's where you actually start to see the pace also gets a little bit quicker than what we're doing now. But up until then, it's pretty much the same. The, start of level four. The only difference is you're doing more shuttles. So you can see now he's nice and relaxed. Conserving his energy as he goes along so that when he gets to the higher levels, he can push himself a bit harder. level five now so now it does get a little bit quicker here now yeah look, he's nice and relaxed See now, he's um, finding this quite comfortable at this pace. Start of level six. No level six. Now this does get uh, uh, quite a bit faster now. You'll find that uh, on this level here, you're not getting too much recovery out at each end. Now level seven for some cause in the army, it now have he would have finished now. That would be the basic pass, seven point two. There are some cores that require you to get to seven point nine. Nice and steady still. Start of level eight. Well, last seven shuttles now on this level, and this is infantry pass. One more shuttle and that's you done. Mm -hmm. 
That's it. That's what That's just the AI. Get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Gets you breathing a bit, doesn't it? Even at that level. So that's it, dear guys. Not a bad effort for myself. Yeah. Awesome. Big thanks to you. Yeah, it's my made pleasure. Happen. Hopefully, guys, and girls as well. This can relieve all the anxiety. You can smash it through, as we see, clearly did in boots. Easy one, yeah? So I'm pretty sure you can do it. Thanks, my man. You're welcome. Pleasure doing business. I'll see. What's up, mate? All okay. right. All right, guys, so as you see there, so, um, that was a bleed test. So. I did mine 8.2, so that is infantry standard. Um, if you want to go paras, then that would be 11.6. I will definitely put the details in the description. Um, as I saw there, guys, I did mine in boots, and the reason why I've done it in boots live there because I didn't want to change into trainers and then back and forth. So I just did in boots and show you that it's achievable. You know what I mean? It's not hard. And please don't be distracted because I'm power commander trained. I think we all human beings just you have to just put the work in. It's all come from here. Your art. You know what I mean? And just you have to just believe in yourself and just really and just go for it. Remember, it's just a bleep. You move on the bleep, you move on the bleep and that's pretty much it. Um, the permanent staff as well are really good. They literally walk through it stage by stage. You just you have to just put the work in and finish it off. I've spoken to a lot of guys and girls here and also I've got like tons of message like on Instagram regarding the bleep test, what to expect and a lot of people panicking about it and I've seen quite a few guys and girls that come through and they ain't really successful so I don't want you to end up like that as well yeah so at least you you can see or see me do it in boots and you can feel like you know what if Fabs can do it then you can do it you know what I mean so please guys and girls if you come here I want you to definitely smash it pass it you know what I mean and remember you know what I mean? You are the future. You are the future of the British Army. You know what I mean? So I just want you to just come here and be successful and don't come here and feel disappointed because, you know, I know what that feel like, yeah? And I dedicated this video to you, guys and girls. And if you feel it's useful to someone who's looking to join the British Army, please share this video to them so they can see it and, 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 and relieve the anxiety and relieve the peer pressure as well. So as I said, guys, I don't want to drag this out too much, yeah? Um, it's all about surface commitment and I hope you guys enjoy it and you don't know like share post tweet and also subscribe as well if you're new to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one boy Fabzi peace